What's up, Wayne State Warriors? My name is Curtis. I'm a first year medical student here at Wayne State University School of Medicine. And today I'm gonna take you through a day in the life of a first year medical student. So let's have a great day. All right, guys, a little bit about me. I graduated from Grand Valley State University in 2020. Then I started medical school here in 2022, this year, and I graduate in 2026. So one of the main things that drew me to Wayne State University School of Medicine is the fact that it is very diverse and that lends itself many opportunities to get involved in many different groups and organizations and clinics. Uh, one of the main goals of me wanting to go to medical school in the first place is to essentially return back to the city in which I was born to help out in the best way I know possible, being a physician. But today is for you guys and I want to give you guys a realistic view uh, what it's like to really be a first year medical student. And I want to start off by showing you guys some cool study spots and then eventually end up at my favorite study spot. But please feel free to ask any questions at all. Um, today is for you guys, like I said, and I want you guys to just know more about the School of Medicine or even about medical school in general. So now that you guys saw Schiffman Library, now you guys get to see one of my favorite study spots, which is an empty classroom. It's called the MD Lab here. The peace and silence and the non-distraction environment I need while studying. But speaking about studying, every medical student has different study techniques or ways that they study. I personally like to do my reviews in the morning, which uh, are in the form of flashcards essentially, and work out unless you understand the material. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a quick break so I can answer some of your questions, but um, definitely try to do as much active recall as you can, such as practice questions. Don't spend a lot of time on content review, uh, just a ton and ton of practice questions. Another awesome question. Um, you could actually major in anything as a pre-med. You just have to get your pre-med prerequisites. So whatever major you're generally interested in, um, honestly, I just chose biomedical sciences. It was a bit tough, but whatever major you're in. All right, guys, let's take another study break. Let's answer a few more questions and then perhaps go to a nice area on campus to have a good study break. Um, but the first question was, how was my journey from undergrad to medical school? And my journey from undergrad to medical school was not a straight A to B path. Um, but it was it was very difficult, but with a lot of hard work, utilizing your resources and not afraid to ask for help. Um, that's definitely where it got me to where I'm at right now. So I'm extremely grateful and it honestly makes the journey to medical school all the more better and makes you appreciate um, medical school even more. I would usually spend about 10 to 12 hours studying a day. And the best study tips I would say is definitely active recall. That's how you remember the best. And apply what you've learned in all your classes. So this is a great question right here. I would say my favorite thing is the pre-recorded lectures and the fact that Wayne has many student run clinics that you can be a part of just as early as first year. So one of the very cool things also about Wayne is the fact that we do have these meetings called town hall meetings and it's with our very own Dean, Dean Sacker. And the purpose for it is to go over our curriculum and highlight some things that we'll be doing in the near future, as well as to ask any burning questions us medical students may have for administration. So it's a very cool way to get to know our administration even more and to connect with them on a deeper level. Okay, guys, I'm here right now with my buddy, Mike, who's also an M1. Let's ask him a couple questions. Okay, Mike, what's your favorite thing about M1 so far? I would have to say anatomy. Wayne State happens to be one of the only medical schools in the country that still offers a cadaver dissection, and it's a great way to interact with your friends and really learn from each other. Cool. So you're liking M1 so far? Oh, yeah. It's been, it's been tough, but I really enjoy it. Awesome.
Hey guys, I'm back again with another friend who's a, another fellow M1. Her name is Arania. She's here to kind of talk about M1. So what is your most challenging part of M1? So one of the most challenging things about M1 um, is time management, just being able to balance um, all the different things we have being thrown at us and also still being able to commit um, a vast amount of information to memory. Okay, so do you still like M1 though? I love M1. It's the best experience I've ever had. I'm very thankful to be here and excited for this journey. Awesome. Ready? Hey, everybody. This is my name is Donovan Roy. I'm the Vice Dean of Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, Access. And I've been here in Detroit for now 10 months. And all I, I want to introduce myself. <laughs> Detroit to introduce himself is with what up though. No. There you go, Dr. Roy, everybody. Okay, so I am Dr. Walker and I'm one of the faculty here at the School of Medicine. I am a gross anatomist and I'm in charge of running the gross anatomy program uh, for the first year medical students. And not only the first year medical students, but we have students that return in years two through four and residents that come back into the labs because human anatomy is so important for the uh, medical education. And um, so what we have here at the School of Medicine at Wayne State is full cadaver dissection. The students work in teams of six around a single cadaver. There are over 50 cadavers that we have here. So our 300 students are working in teams of six. And what they do is they'll follow a dissection guide and they will uh, do the dissections on their own with faculty Okay, Warriors, after about nine hours on campus, I'm finally heading home to have dinner and do a little bit more studying after that. But I want to thank you guys so much for having me host a day in the life of an M1 medical student here at Wayne State University School of Medicine. I hope today that I hope some people get more informed about medicine and about Wayne State School of Medicine. I hope I inspired some people and I hope that I shed some light on what it's really like to be a medical student here as a first year. Thank you guys so much. Feel free to follow me on my Instagram and I look forward to seeing you guys in the near future.